This tutorial covers building timelines with multiple levels on the Cayenne and Carrera switchers. It is assumed that the viewer has already studied the tutorials on basic timelines and EMEM levels. For this effect, we will fly in an IDPM box which has a clip store channel inside it, such that the video will play as the box flies onto the screen. There are different ways to build this effect. All at once, or second, build each component separately, then combine them. Regardless of the approach taken, the end result is the same. We will build the effect on screen so we can see what is happening and when finished, move the start point to be off screen. Method 1 builds the effect all at once. Start by looking at ME1 with key 1 turned on and the IDPM active. Set the size and position of the IDPM as desired. Choose the clip store channel as the key one source and choose the clip required. In the clip store menu, load the clip to be used and turn on the keyframe triggers or KF triggs button. Press load to read the clip name and Q to ensure the clip is queued to the beginning. This will become the first keyframe of the effect. In the master EMM, turn on only the ME1 and CS1 levels. Insert the first keyframe by learning into a register, in this example, register 51. When the effect is finished, two things need to happen when the effect is run. One, the IDPM will fly to its end position and size. Two, the clip store video must roll as soon as the effect starts to move. This requires two different keyframes. The end keyframe for the ME IDPM level at one second to set the end point of the move and second, a keyframe immediately after keyframe one to run the clip store channel. These two keyframes will not be in the same place on the timeline. We will build the IDPM move first. First, turn off the delegation for the clip store channel. Move the IDPM channel to its end point and press insert after. This will produce the IDPM move required. Turn off the ME1 level delegation and turn on the clip store level delegation. In the clip store menu, turn off the load and queue triggers, then turn on the play trigger. Use insert after to add a keyframe on the clip store level. This keyframe will be in the wrong place. Step to keyframe 1 and set the keyframe duration to 1 frame and press modify to change the clip store timeline keyframe 1's duration. Turn on the ME level delegation. The timeline now shows that at keyframe 1 the DPM will be at its start point and the required clip will be loaded and queued. When the effect is run, the clip store will immediately play at keyframe 2 on its timeline while the DPM will move to its second keyframe, which will take one second. This will occur every time effect 51 is recalled and then played. To complete the effect to start off screen, recall the effect to keyframe 1. Move the IDPM box off screen and press modify to change keyframe 1's location. If the effect is built separately, care must be used to ensure the two timelines are in the same register. Starting as before, set up the first keyframe for ME1 with key 1 on and the IDPM active and the clip store channel as the source. Select just the ME level. Learn into a new register, this time Effect 61. Move the IDPM box as before and insert a keyframe to create the fly-in effect. Returning to either the Master EMEM module or the Recall Run menu, turn off ME1 and turn on the Clip Store 1 level. Note that the register number jumps to the last number used by the Clip Store, register 51. If both ME1 and Clip Store 1 levels are turned on together, the Timeline Edit menu will show dissimilar register numbers, 51 and 61, while the panel will show only one number, either 51 or 61, depending upon which level was turned on first. 
this state of dissimilar registers is indicated by an arrow in the EMIM display window as a warning that not all of the enabled levels are on the same register number. To easily run an effect from the master EMIM, all controlled levels must be on the same register. To solve this issue, turn off the ME1 level. Set up the clip store channel as desired with the load and queue keyframe triggers enabled and learn this into register 61 for the clip store level. Set the clip store triggers to play and insert keyframe 2. In the timeline edit menu, set keyframe 1's duration to 1 frame and modify the effect. When both ME1 and clip store level 1 are now enabled, they are both on register 61 and the effect looks correct. However, when register 61 is recalled, it was learned with only clip store 1 selected, so that is the only level that is activated when using auto recall. To solve this issue, it is necessary to update the EMEM header information so that both levels will be recalled. This information is used by the auto recall mode to determine which levels to activate when a master EMEM register is recalled. If a new learn was performed at this point, it would erase the timelines that have been built. To update the header information to include both ME1 and Clipstore 1, turn on the two levels required, select Learn Partial, and press Update Levels. The equivalent function from the panel is Learn followed by Auto Recall. Update levels is required whenever levels need to be added or removed from a master EMM recall. When editing effects using multiple levels, only the levels that are delegated, that is highlighted in green, will be changed when adding, deleting, or modifying keyframes. All the timelines that are displayed are the enabled levels and will run when an effect is run. This allows an effect to be run many times to see the entire effect while making changes only to the timelines that are delegated. When working with many levels, the Set Timeline Start feature can be useful to vary one timeline in relation to another. In this effect, the Clip Store Play command is given one frame after the IDPM effect starts to move. As the image is starting on screen, it may be desirable to issue the play command only when the effect starts to move. To delay the timeline start, first delegate only the timeline to be changed, in this case ME1. Select Set Timeline Start and enter the desired delay. The selected timeline will now be delayed to start later in the effect. Another useful feature is Pause at Keyframe. A pause can be added to a keyframe by stepping to a keyframe, turning on pause at keyframe, and modifying the keyframe. This will stop all the timelines in the effect at the pause keyframe until another run command is received, at which time the effect will continue to run. In this effect, the first run command will roll the clip store, the second run command will cause it to move. This completes the tutorial on effects with multiple level timelines.